What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Tops Inception Hall of Fame Edition Baseball just sold out, which is a case break, random hit, number two, uh, 48 total spots, or sold. Now, we sold a lot of breaks uh, in a filler, win a spot breaks, like a lot of Sapphire, Inception, uh, Hanger, etc., etc. So, you'll see your name with a little uh, character at the end of it with something, number, that means you won that in a spot break. Now, if... Uh, if um, you bought it straight up, you should just have your name there. You know? So, again, 48 total spots, limited to 50 cases. Now, this is the Hall of Fame edition. I personally didn't see Joe break this on Friday. I know it's fire. It's transcendent. Um, but this one is actually limited to 50 cases compared to, like, the regular version that usually comes out at the end of the year in the holidays, which is usually to 100, I believe. Uh, so, again, everybody gets an item from this list below. So, the way this is... <clears throat> There's one VIP invitation where you get to meet, I'm assuming, some great Hall of Famers, which it looks like we'll be willing to buy this for $3,000 in break credit if you like. So you can always sell it to us if you win it. Um, you get one oversized cut signature, which is a one of one. You get one Sandy Koufax one of one autograph card. You get one PSA buyback. You get one autograph 1954 Super Fractor, which is another one of one. You get one one of one sketch card. And then 40 additional autographs, number to 25 or less. And usually it does have two one of ones in the 40 card base autograph set. Then you get one iconic base set of 50 cards. Now we're going to keep that sealed. Someone's just going to win the base set sealed. You can do whatever you want with it, open it up, sell it. And same thing with these sketch reproduction sets. Those are out of 50, and there's 50 cards. Someone's going to win the whole set of reproduction sets just like the base set. So that's what makes a total of 48 spots. Now, obviously, I don't have the list of names in here yet. What we're going to do is I'm going to open up the case, showcase all the hits. Then I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to type in all the list of names for the players. So that'll be 40. And then randomize the customer names, randomize the hits in here, and then see who gets what. So let's open up the case first, guys. So as you can see, I'm right here. Here's my hand again. Here's the case. I'm going to open it up first. Oh, is that you, Joe? Nice. I thought, I thought it was going to be Nick, but no worries, man. Thank you. Makes my life easier. You know, I'm not the best typer. <laughs> so here you go. You guys can see it's just empty. Now the invite is just hiding right here at the top. So here's the invite. That's going to stay sealed. Again, we can buy it off of you. Or you sell it, you keep it, you go. There you go, there's the invite. Actually, I kind of like the other view because it's more zoomed in.
All right, so it looks like we got anybody superstitious. I don't know if you guys can see it. 19 out of 50. Really fancy briefcase, too. Wait, are we randomizing the briefcase or is somebody winning that? Or are we just keeping it? I'm not sure. Let me know, Joe. I don't know what you do with the first one. So again, right here at the top. Kind of cover up all the hits. Sketch card, 101, PSA buyback. Everything's right here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We're probably just going to give away to somebody here in the store. That's what we're going to do, yeah. Gotcha. So there you go. We'll do this last. So kind of just leave this right here. Now, here's the bronze set, as you can see here. So the bronze should be the sketch, which this they sealed. Here's the base set, which is silver, which is the base set, which that also stays sealed. And here is the gold, which is the autographs, which that's the one we're opening up. There you go. And look at that empty briefcase. Now, so I'm just going to close it up and I'm going to leave the hits right here on top of the briefcase. And we'll do that last. All right. It's a little, a little tiring there. All right. They do. It's legit. This stuff, I don't remember which is the right way or not, but. Right, that's the back. Yeah, it does actually feel like a gun case, honestly. Alright, so it goes to alphabetical order. We got Hank Aaron. 25 out of 25. There you go. Hank Aaron, 25 out of 25. We got Roberto Alomar, 1 out of 25. No, we do the big hits last, living on one-handed. We we'll have to keep it suspenseful here. We got Jeff Bagwell, 9 out of 25. Oh, actually, hold on, guys. There you go for the one of ones. 
I must have hit it by accident. Out of retirement, this horn is. We got uh, three out of 25, Johnny Bench. We got 15 out of 25, Johnny Bench, again. This time, this is a vertical one, or sorry, horizontal one. Vertical, three out of 25, horizontal, 15 out of 25. I would, Leo, but I think we'd get copyrighted. <laughs> And we got a two out of five, Wade Boggs. We got Hall of Fame 1981, Rod Carew, 20 out of 25. 16 out of 25, Andre Dawson, Hall of Fame 2010. Hot there, man. Damn. It's fire right here. 25 out of 25, Carlton Fisk. Two out of 25, Bob Gibson. And a one of one, Tom Glavin. There's our first one of one. Again, I'll ring the horn to whoever gets this one of one. Oh, do you guys want an F? All right, then. I mean, I actually have, I have it on the Capitals, but I have all these different horns in here. There you go. Five out of five, Tom Glavin. So this time it's a horizontal five out of five. Capitals will probably be my second, my second favorite team just because Ovechkin. I've been following him since I was a little kid when I really, really got into hockey and he was a rookie. And we got Ken Griffey Jr. They do not, Mac. They do not. <laughs> We got 10 out of 25, or sorry, no, 18 out of 25. Vladimir Guerrero, senior. And yeah, the kid was 21 out of 25, just in case. Ricky Henderson. 13 out of 25. 
Reggie Jackson, 21 out of 25. Ooh, there you go. Another case of transcendent, guys. And a four out of five Randy Johnson. Seattle Mariners. Edition, four out of five. And another Randy Johnson vertical, or sorry, horizontal edition, twenty-five out of uh, twenty out of twenty-five. And we have another one of one. Chipper Jones. Wow, is, is this our second Brave that's a one of one? There you go. Oh, yeah, that is a sell sheet hit. <laughs> That is part of our sell sheet. And we got 12 out of 25. Another Chipper Jones. Horizontal, 12 out of 25. And Al Kaline, RIP, Mr. Tiger. 22 out of 25. And here's another Al Kaline. Horizontal, 16 out of 25. So there is a vertical that's 22 out of 25. This one's 16 out of 25. Sandy Koufax, 14 out of 25. And 6 out of 25, Sandy Koufax. So the first one was 14 out of 25, this time it's 6. We got Barry Larkin, card number one out of twenty-five. And Juan Marshall, three out of five. Things are third out of five, and the two one of ones already pulled. And Mike Musina, twenty two out of twenty five. Uh, Larkin, I thought we pulled a Barry Larkin.
Some of them have threes. Yeah, I, I figured some of them may. And a two out of five, Cal Ripken Jr. Fourth out of five. Two out of five. And a Mariano Rivera, three out of five. Wow. I got to do this one at least. That's nice. Look at that penmanship. I can never write this in a thousand years. Paul Molitor, four out of twenty five. All right, guys, we're getting to the finish line. Nolan Ryan, seventeen out of twenty five. Twenty two out of twenty five, Ryan Sandberg. Was that a Molitor jersey number? Oh yeah, that was. Wow. There you go. Sorry about that, Paul Molitor. Jersey number. I know Jack catches those things. I mean, not that I know these players that much, because obviously much past my time or before my time. Sorry. So, Ozzy Smith, twenty-five out of twenty-five. We got John Smoltz, 8 out of 25. I like it at the caps. <laughs> and another John Smoltz, 16 out of 25. So the first one was 8. This one is a horizontal. Big Hurt, Frank Thomas, 20 out of 25. One out of 25, Jim Tomey. And another Jim told me this time five out of five. Horizontal. All right, two more hits, guys. And then we're going to go with the big stuff. The big stuff. Yaz. Carl Yastrzemski. 10 out of 25.
And the last one. Robin Yelp. 8 out of 25. Alright, and there you go. Empty. Ooh, this feels nice. <laughs> All right, cool. So I got all the autos right here in order. Keep those right there. Now remember, here's the invitation. Here's the base set. We're going to keep that sealed. And then here is the sketch set. That stays sealed. I'm going to put this back over here. Damn, this weighs like 20 pounds at least. Jeez. Feels heavier than the last Transcendent. Sorry, Goldhorn, you're going to have to move out of the way. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I will. I'll pause the video, just double check. Appreciate it, though, man. All right, so there's the oversized. I'm assuming that's the PSA buyback. Don't know which ones are which, but we'll start with these ones. Then we'll work our way over here. Or let me kind of like peek. All right, so that's the Super Fractor. Start over here. All right, good luck. And it's a Babe Ruth one-of-one one sketch card. Hall of Fame, 1936. There you go. Very nice. Let's just put this over here. Next one. A one of one Sandy Koufax. There you go. Which I believe this is the 2020 version. Sandy Koufax. So you just get one autograph, one of one. So this 2020, so this is the brand new one. Is it 2018? Oh. Maybe it is, but it says 2020 at the bottom, so maybe it is. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> it's a Sandy Kovacs. <laughs> there you go. All right, here's a Super Fractor. And it's Ricky Henderson. This is a beautiful Super Fractor. There you go. That's a beautiful looking, looking one right there. All right, let's go with the buyback. I have no idea what I'll be getting out of here, but let's see. It is a 1956 Ted Williams grayback 5.5. Look, I even have the sticker on there. What is that supposed to mean? That the was that the value? There you go. The t 
top of the case is a little beat up, as you can see, a lot of scratches. But very nice. All right, so far, here we go. Let's do it. Oversized. And we got a one of one, Carl Hubbell, Hall of Fame, nineteen forty seven. I this guy doesn't ring a bell to me, but he is a Hall of Famer though. And there you go. Yeah, there's the Wikipedia page, <laughs> so you guys can see who this is. Let's take a look. Was a pitcher. Was a win-loss record of 253 to 154. Earned run average of 298. Over 1,600 strikeouts and played with the New York Giants. For a little over 14, 15 years. Nine-time All-Star World Series champ. Two-time NL MVP. Three-time NL wins leader. Three-time MLB ERA leader. Uh, and pitched a no-hitter on May 8th, 1929. Retired number 11 for the San Francisco Giants. And voted in 1947, 87%. Who he struck out in the All-Star game? Who did he strike out? Where'd I go look at? Oh, here it is. All right, check this out. Oh, that's a good one. All right. In the 1934 All-Star game played in Polo Grounds, Hubba produced one of the baseball's most memorable moments by striking out five future Hall of Famers in successions. Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Jimmy Fox, Al Simmons, and Joe Cronin. All those five players in a row. Whew, that's pretty good. This in an ERA where uh, the strikeout was far less common than today, regarded as undesirable outcome, not merely... Accepted byproduct of swinging for the fences. Five in a row, guys. Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Jimmy Fox, Al Simmons, Joe Cronin. And that's the beauty of this Transcendent Hall of Fame is that we I may not know who this is way before my time. But, you know, we got the World Wide Web to kind of help us out and re, re just picture what this guy did back when he was playing. And, again, playing in the early, uh, you know, early 30s and 40s. So... It just says his name. It doesn't say anything else. So there you go. Pretty awesome. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video, double check that all the hits are accounted for, and then we'll come back, randomize customer names and the list, and see, who you guys, uh, see what you guys get. Appreciate it guys. All right, welcome back, guys. We just uh, pasted in the customer name. So from Renee, all the way down to BJ, Last Ball Mojo, and a, couple of cu a handful of customers, sorry, won a bunch of these spots in Inception Breaks, Sapphires, Hangers, et cetera, et cetera. And, of course, customers bought straight up. We appreciate everybody. Now, here you go. Here's the VIP invitation just to show you guys. Uh, at the top, oversized cut signature, all filled in, everything in there, all the way down to the 40 uh, autographs. So again, everybody's getting a random hit. So we're going to randomize the customer names and the hits, match you up with this Google Doc, and whoever gets, whoever you match up with is what you're going to get. So good luck. Let's roll it, and we got a three and a two five times. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, five times. Chris, 
down to Daniel. Let's put you here. There's everybody in there. 48. Now let's go five times now here on the hits. Good luck. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Five times. Robin Yelp, 8 out of 25, all the way down here. John Smoltz Auto. Yeah, I think he was going to get inducted this year. So that's probably why he wasn't part of this 2020 Transcendence. Anybody be previous to him. And here you go. Let's see what y'all got. Good luck. Chris, you got Robin Yelp autograph, 8 out of 25. Renee with the Reggie Jackson auto. 21 out of 25. Daniel Smith, you got the iconic base set of 50 cards, silver frame. Nice. Give you one of those. Adam with the Wade Boggs. Two out of five. Ryan with the Jim Tomey Auto. Horizontal, five out of five. Derek with the Ken Griffey Jr. Auto. 21 out of 25. Ryan with the Roberto Alomar. Uh, auto 1 out of 25 BJ you get the Andre Dawson auto 16 out of 25 Adam with the Nolan Ryan 17 out of 25 Rob you get the Hank Aaron 25 out of 25 Josh you're going to get the Tom Glavin auto 5 out of 5 Brian with the Johnny Bench 3 out of 25 Albert with the Jeff Bagwell auto 9 out of 25 and Jeffrey S with the Sandy Koufax 1 of 1 autographed card there you go. Nice. Ryan Emerson, you get the Johnny Bench autograph, 15 out of 25. Bradley, you get the Paul Molitor jersey number, 4 out of 25. There you go. Mike McCarthy, you get the Tom Glavin autograph, 1 of 1. Congratulations, Mike. Chris, you're going to get the Sandy Koufax autograph, 6 out of 25, which is horizontal. James with the Ryan Sandberg autograph, 22 out of 25. Rolando, Juan Marshall, 3 out of 5. There you go. Steven, Rod Carew, auto, 20 out of 25. Albert, you get the Ricky Henderson auto, 13 out of 25. Derek, with the Randy Johnson autograph, 20 out of 25. James, with the LK line, 22 out of 25. Leonard, with the Frank Thomas autograph, uh, 20 out of 25. Chris, with the Sandy Koufax, 14 out of 25. Wow, Chris, you got both Sandy Koufax autographs. Nice. <laughs> Mike, with a Mariano Rivera autograph three out of five. Nice break for you, Mike. And that you got that from Inception number 11. James gets the oversized cut signature of Carl Hubel. Hall of Famer 1947. There you go, James. Nice. Robert, the one of one sketch card of Babe Ruth. That was a beauty. Actually, this one will do better. There you go, Robert. Aaron, with uh, hanger number four, one of the last two spots to win gets the sketch reproduction set of 50 cards out of 50 there you go Aaron nice Albert you get the Jim Tomey 1 out of 25 Aaron with the Carlton Fisk auto 25 out of 25 Chris with the John Smoltz auto 8 out of 25 and Stephen Kendrick as I like to say every once in a while K-Dot getting the VIP invitation which, at least to us, we will give you in $3,000 in break credit if you'd like. Congratulations, man. There you go. Very nice. Chris, you're going to get the Al K-Line autograph 16 out of 25. 
Aaron with the Ozzy Smith auto, 25 out of 25. And Derek, there you go, getting the PSA buyback, 1956 Ted Williams, 5.5. There you go, that's a sick one right there, man. Congratulations. Steven with the yes, 10 out of 25. John with the Mike Messina, 22 out of 25. BJ, Jordan would have bought, uh, bought this spot straight up, getting the one-of-one one Super Fractor. There you go. Ricky Henderson. There you go. James with the Vladimir Guerrero Senior Autograph, 18 out of 25. James with the Chipper Jones Auto, 12 out of 25. Leonard, you're going to get the Cal Ripken Jr. autograph, 2 out of 5. There you go. Congratulations. Josh Mellon with the Bob Gibson auto, 2 out of 25. Matthew with the Randy Johnson autograph, 4 out of 5. And Chris getting the other 1 of 1, which is the Chipper Jones autograph. There you go. I don't know where that's at, but <laughs> that's a good one, too. There's a bunch of these cards everywhere. And then uh, Joseph. With the Barry Largan Auto, 1 out of 25. And Daniel with the John Smoltz, 16 out of 25. So there you go. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you for buying in. If you want a spot, double congratulations. Because you paid a fraction of the price than a full spot. Um, again, this was Hall of Fame edition of Baseball Transcendent Tops 2020. I said that backwards. Um, random hit number two. And again, uh, number three, I guess, we'll be getting another one in tomorrow. Or posting tomorrow. So pre-orders for... A uh, random hit number three tomorrow, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Appreciate it, guys.